look at a room, we wouldn't be able to. He told the police that he was walking out of the bathroom and making coffee and the water tripped on him. When I investigators got out there, and Detective Johnson got out there and started questioning him, he kind of changed the story to thinking, oh, well, no, the baby was walking, but the baby was only two months. Then he changed the story to say, well, I was drinking the coffee and I was laying in the bed and the water fell on him. So his story was inconsistent. And after we got to see a tip from a family member, Detective Johnson questioned him once again, and he admitted to, yes, I placed the baby in the microwave. That's where the burns came from. At that time, the baby had, had burns. It was critical. The baby was in critical condition at third degree burns. There's left side of her face and her hand. And now the baby is actually, she's been upgraded to stable and she's going to be going home uh, either today or early as Monday. And where will the baby go? Going to a foster family. The CPS is taking custody of the baby. That, that's really heartbreaking. It's very sad to hear that. I can't believe that, that there would be anybody who would do that. A child you bring into the world to take care of and they're helpless and you're there to love and care for them and you would do something so awful and terrible. It's, it's unbelievable that anybody would do something like that.